the food here costs a pretty penny, you know? Huh? Did my brother do something? Y you're the actress, aren't you? Thank you for dining with us this evening. Wow, what a cute waitress. Oh, um, I think I have a reservation under Sato. Welcome, Mr. Sato. Allow me to show you to your table. Wow, she's super polite. What a nice place. I am Keichi Sato, an office worker. My sister booked this fancy restaurant for my birthday. Huh? Isn't that Keichi? Jeez, Osamu. You're working here, huh? What's with the G's? Anyway, what are you doing here? The food here costs a pretty penny, you know? This restaurant is for people who can actually afford it. Huh? Both Samli and I were in the same class in high school, and he was always a bit of a brat. Looks like he's as kind as ever. How could you say such a thing to one of our guests, Osamu? I know this guy. You know if you belong here or not. Right, Keiichi? If I were you, I'd turn around and leave, just as he was mocking me. Welcome to our restaurant. Wait, what? Kay the actress? No way, is she for real? She's so pretty. Um, did my brother do something? Uh, no. Wait, what? Could it be? Y you're the actress, aren't you? Yes, I'm Kay. Oh, wow, she's stunning. Yeah. Did you just say my brother? Yep. Keiichi's my little brother. Seriously? Yeah, that's right. No way. Kay is one of the biggest actresses in this country, right? This is my shot. If I can impress her and get her to talk about me, I'll be famous. And my career will skyrocket. Everyone's watching, so I need to make this count. I need to make sure Kay has an amazing experience here. Alright, enough of the small talk with Keiji. Let's get down to business. Now, as the top server here, I'm gonna give you the best service ever. Now, please, come this way. No thanks. Huh? I promise you'll be satisfied. I said no thank you. <laughs> I've heard this place is top notch with great food. That's the best part about it. But here's the thing, fine dining is about more than just the food. It's about the whole experience, the hospitality, and the way you treat the guests. But do you remember what your attitude was like when I got here, Osamu? <sighs> you know what I mean, right? It wasn't hospitality at all. It was awful, wasn't it? From that moment on, this place no longer felt like a high-end restaurant. It's my birthday today. My sister made a reservation to celebrate, but because of your attitude, I don't feel like having any fun at this place. <sighs> Sis, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, I guess we should. Wait, Keiji, hold up. Don't worry about the bill. I'll cover it even though we didn't eat anything. Sis, I'm sorry you went through the trouble of reserving this place. It's fine. I think you're right too. Let's enjoy ourselves at a different place instead. Sounds good. No, no, no. Please don't leave. I'll do whatever it takes. Just give me another chance to make up for it. What's the point? I'm just not feeling it anymore. And what do you mean by make up for it? I didn't come here for you, Osamu. I'll give you top service, and I'll even cover your bill. Just don't leave, okay? Please. It's not about the money. It's about having a good time. And if you want to keep working in fine dining, you need to learn how to give people a good experience. That's it. Let's go, sis. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Bye. <sighs> Looks like Kay and her brother are leaving now. Yeah, that waiter said some pretty nasty things to her brother. I don't blame them for leaving. <coughs> Kay's leaving. Osamu really messed up, huh? Uh... Hey, Osamu. I heard about what happened. You know it's not okay to be rude to customers, even if you know them well, right? Yes, I'm really sorry. Man, he trashed my reputation. Ugh, if it's come to this, I've got to get Kay to come to this place, get her to eat, 
and give her the best service possible to make up for it. Later. Hey, Osamu, why did you come all the way to my place? What's up? Could you get Kei to come back to my restaurant one more time? You can do it, right? No way, she can go wherever she wants. I've learned a lot that day. Your sense of hospitality is really lacking. You need to fix your attitude, Osamu. Now get out. <sighs> I want to be recognized and get ahead. I've got to get Kei to come to my restaurant and make up for it. But how? Oh, um, excuse me. Wow, she's cute. Are you p perhaps talking to m me? Were you at the restaurant with Kay the other day by any chance? I'm Yui, one of the waitresses. I'm a huge fan of Kay. Oh, that waitress. I'm Kei Chisato, Kay's brother. I'm really sorry about our waiter that day. No worries. Osamu and I went to the same high school. He's always been like that, so it's no big deal. Are you sure? But... Seriously, it's fine. Apart from him, I think that the restaurant is great. Thanks. I'm glad to hear that. You and Kay seem like really close siblings. I think it's great. Kay's really kind, even in private, huh? Yeah, she's a wonderful sister, really caring. I knew it. A lot of Kay's fans are drawn to her personality. I appreciate you saying that. It means a lot. Hey, if you're up for it, wanna grab some tea at the cafe and chat for a while? It sounds great. I happened to run into Yui, the waitress in town, and we ended up going to a cafe, chatting and losing track of time. I had an awesome time today. Me too. Wanna meet up again sometime? Sure, I'd love to. Yui was super easy to talk to. What a nice girl. We decided to meet up again and exchange phone numbers. The next day. Hello, sis. What? The stuff that happened at the restaurant is online? Yeah? Uh, I was worried it might drag you into it because of me. So I thought I'd give you a heads up. Oh, thanks for telling me. I got it. Hmm. I should probably mention this to you too. Yeah, so I should let you know about it too. This could hurt the restaurant's reputation. Thanks for letting me know. If it messes with Kay's reputation, it might be considered defamation, right? And not just that. It could really damage your restaurant's name. Hmm, what can I do to stop it from getting worse? If I know who was posting this stuff, it'd be easier to deal with. Yeah, right. Since it's about what happened at the restaurant, it could be anyone who was there that day and saw Kay. Right, like the wait staff and the customers. But even if we can't figure out which servers were on duty, there's no way to know which customer actually posted, right? You're right, but... Huh? You and Kay were there during dinner time, right? Since every table is reserved? We've got the names and contact info of the people who made the reservations. And we even know which tables they sat at. Oh, I see. That means we can narrow it down to a small group of people who might have posted it. Exactly. But it still leaves a few dozen people. So how do we figure out who actually posted it? Hmm. The time the post went up was at during dinner hours. Doesn't that make it less likely it was a server? In a fancy place like that, people don't usually use their phones, right? Right. But what if someone actually posted in the restaurant? Other people would have seen it, since hardly anyone uses their phones there, so they might remember the person. What if the person they saw was in the restaurant, when my sister and I showed up? Oh? If that's the case, the person might be the one who posted it. Right. Let's interview the people who were at the restaurant on that date and time. We can ask them if they saw anyone using a phone. And which table the person was sitting at, right? Yeah. The person might not have posted from inside the restaurant. That's true, but it's still worth a shot. Let's go for it. Okay. I'll talk to the manager about it. The manager agreed to help and work with us on the interviews. But during that time, the restaurant's sales were slowly dropping. After the interviews, 
we got several eyewitness reports indicating that the person who posted it might actually be a staff member. So we decided to question that person. Turns out, the employee identified by the witnesses was Osamu. He was spotted sneaking around in the corner, fiddling with his phone, which actually made him stand out more. Hey, I need to ask you something. It's important, so be straight with us. What is it? Let's get straight to the point. Did you post about my sister? No way, I wouldn't do that. Okay, cool. No offense, just checking. Uh, uh, is that a phone notification? Oh, yeah, you know, it's just those content updates you get when you set it up. Uh, huh? Again with the notifications. It's just a coincidence they're popping up like this. Hey, Osamu. That account that posted about my sis, isn't it yours after all? Look, I just made two posts, and the notifications went off right after each one. Is that just a coincidence? Oh, oh this is bad. Prove you're innocent. That's not your account, right? Ugh. Should I post again to check? Okay, okay, you got me. I see. Can I see it? <sighs> Turned out... He had the account that posted about my sister. Osamu, so you were the one who posted it, huh? But I don't have any reason to post it, do I? You kinda do. You were mad that my sister and I left without eating that day, right? Or maybe because you asked me to bring her back to the restaurant and I said no? Even if I did post it, don't I have the right to say what I want? Wouldn't it be worse to limit my freedom of speech? We can speak freely, but only if it doesn't cause harm to others. Wouldn't this post count as defamation against K? And it could hurt the restaurant's reputation and cause real damage. <sighs> you were fiddling with your phone in the corner that day. How could you do that? I used to love this place. You really underestimated regular customers, huh? It was you. Uh rumors and had to come see for myself. You let everyone down and you caused damage to the restaurant. You caused a lot of trouble for Kay too. Osamu, you need to take a hard look at what you've done. <sighs> Never thought it blew up like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so the issue was resolved. I asked Osamu to issue an apology for posting false content. The manager released a statement apologizing for the trouble caused by the employee Osamu. They also announced his disciplinary action. My sister, Kay, also made a statement saying this place is great and that she'll keep coming here and recommending it. It wasn't long before customers returned. Some people had questioned my sister's character, but now that they know the truth, the misunderstanding seems to have cleared up. You really saved us. I can't believe you guys figured out who posted that so fast. I could have gone through my lawyer to request disclosure. But it would have taken at least a month or two. And the damage could have gotten worse in the meantime. Is it really that hard to request disclosure? Yeah, it is. It's protected personal information. I feel bad for you and sis. Osamu is the one to blame, though. Exactly. He's the one who did this, not you. You did everything you could to fix it and I really appreciate it. Same here. Thanks for saying that. And you were pretty cool handling it, by the way. Yui. After that, Osamu quit the restaurant. Word got around in the industry and he couldn't find another job. Now, he's stuck working part-time and struggling to get by. Besides, the restaurant management also decided to sue him for damages. So now he's got a huge debt he can't pay off. On top of that, my sister is getting ready to file a lawsuit against him. Meanwhile, Yui and I have gotten closer and my sister and Yui are hitting it off too. We get along so well that you should totally be my sister. Yay! You're cool with that, right Keiji? Huh? Um... Doesn't that mean I feel like our relationship is going to take off soon?
Thanks for watching till the end. Please subscribe to our channel.